Hey guys, just wanted to share a quick replay with y'all. This one from Red Cloud, from one of our recent wars that we had. And I love this attack, honestly. I really love any sort of weird attack. So, in this raid, what he essentially does, he just recognizes that all the mortars are ridiculously open and easy to get to. And so, essentially, he's just doing a mass witch. Freaking 11 witches. Uh, he brings a golem to tank everything in the beginning. Some hogs to help take out those mortars. And I think... I don't remember what he does with the loons. I think he might use the loon to help that too. Use a giant and a wizard to take out the northeast mortar. I mean, really, it's just an awesome attack. I love watching weird stuff. So, so yeah, I mean, pretty simple. He just starts, makes a funnel with his golem, right? I mean, our golem and wizards, just like normal. <laughs> this base is bad enough to where he can drop those wizards and just have them on the gold storage with nothing tanking them because <laughs> nothing can reach them. So. Yeah, definitely not the best base by any means. And then once everything starts coming down, he's just going to drop a jump. And at that point, everything is in the core. I mean, I think one witch goes around, if I'm not mistaken. For whatever reason. I have, Yeah, she goes around. I don't know why. But everything else in the core. I mean, I mean with no mortars alive, there's really no reason for them to, to die. He used that heal early, which is good, with that wizard tower over there and going against the queen and everything, so that's pretty nice. And then just rages right after. <laughs> a couple loons in the back. Oh, there's a Tesla down. That's why he took that out. That's, that's, that's good, yeah. The reason, by the way, that he's taking down the mortars is because, I mean, really, they're one of the biggest threats to witches on these sorts of attacks or go wee wee attacks, whatever, because they can two-shot a witch, which, I mean, a lot of things can two-shot a witch, but most times you have the scalies out in front and they're tanking. The real problem with mortars is you get to the side and the skellies are running out of, si out of the radius of the mortar, and then, you know, they're targeting the, the witches and can take down a whole bunch in just a couple shots, so it's nice to be able to take those out early. I mean, and you can see, I mean... As they're coming through over here, you have these two Teslas that are up, and like I mean, they're you know highest DPS, I think highest DPS building in the game. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. And just nothing on the, these witches. They have just enough to be able to tank out in front of them, keep it distracted. And just when there's we have two going for a Tesla, I mean it's pretty much over. I'll fast forward a little bit to help power through these these walls and everything right here. I mean, still has his pocket poison, still has an extra wizard. Just plenty of stuff here. And the skellies, I mean, there's just too many of them. They can rip through walls. They can rip through defenses. If you can keep your witches alive, I think I think witches are one of the most powerful troops in the game. When used correctly. Not as powerful as hogs. Don't quote me. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm going, well, I'll let it play out slow. I'm going to bring us down in the wire with these last defenses. <laughs> has that golem tanking, that's kind of nice. At that point, it's over. I mean, <laughs> there's not even cleanup. It's just that compartment to finish. They just have to get in and take down that air defense. Double giant bomb. Yep. Very nice raid, Red. I love to see things like this. But thank you all for watching. Y'all uh, take care. Y'all have a good one.